all right guys all right guys let's do the recap for today we had a really really nice day so we deserve to have some celebration for ourselves market is amazing uh so the situation here is that the china economy has been in a very very interesting stage hi thanks for watching my video my name is andrew aziz and i'm the author of how to day trade for a living in this channel i'm showing my daily trades on the u.s stock market I hope that you enjoyed the videos. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and welcome to my channel. Uh, the real estate uh, sector is down and the government is not really bailing them out. The government specifically want to stay away from boosting economy by excessive uh, borrowing. So the biggest uh, the real estate developer in China went bankrupt uh, last week. But other sectors in China is still strong. So it's a very interesting environment in China that is completely the opposite of the U.S. And that shows how the China and U.S. economies uh, philosophy is different. That they, China really is supporting uh, clean tech and uh, manufacturing and chips and stuff. But they're really not willing to bail out, uh, you know, a speculative uh, real estate sector. Uh, that's something that we really don't have uh, in, in the U.S. It's, that shows that how these two economies are actually really uh, thinking differently. Anyway, so the market was really selling off for three weeks uh, in August. And uh, that was the biggest uh, three weeks that we had in many, many years. Uh, and uh, today it was gapping up a little bit. Market was gapping up. Tesla was gapping up about 1%, 2%. And, uh, you know, at the open, opened a really weak and then suddenly squeezed up above the weave with really nice uh, volume, a bullish candlestick. I went long and then suddenly dropped and I got a stopped out here. So that was my first trade. I then suddenly squeezed back up here and I went long heavier on that. This point, 222 and popped up for the break of high of the day, 222.50 and all the way up to, we went all the way up to 230, I think. And, I, you know, as you see, I added more in this uh, pullback as well. So very nice pullback they gave us. I added more at 225 and all the way up to 229. Uh, then I got it I got out and by my mistake I got short 100 shares on that and uh, you know eventually covered everything and that was uh, that was my uh, trading and that turned out to uh, actually went up all the way up to 230 the high of the day was uh, 229.94 and then it bounced back through the we back so this was a massive run on the five minute shot probably we can get a better uh, understanding it was a really massive five minute open range break up here and uh, it was just amazing and with this ABCD pattern pullback we added more heavy on that and then we had a really massive run and again I made the mistake of uh, this uh, um, um, uh, hot key that I went short otherwise I would have got it all the way up to 230. So that was a really really nice trade that I did on Tesla obviously when looking at PNL very profitable and then I had TQQ uh, which is the leverage ETFs for QQQ sector. So the Q sector was very strong as well gapping up about half a percent <clears throat> sorry about that half a percent gapping up and on a one minute chart, again, looking at it, uh, you see it's a very beautiful five minute open range breakup. And then with the add on this pullback, pop up all the way up to 37.70. It didn't later sold off and I got it stopped out. So when I'm adding in my, you know, my, you know, my stop loss is coming to the break even. So I got it stopped out on the break even. But there was a massive run that we had. It was also very profitable. On a one minute chart, how the TQQ actually worked was uh, that uh, for a few, few minutes did nothing below the VWAP. Again, the stock was gapping up uh, the whole queues was gapping up volume came in for the squeeze above the VWAP I went long just below 37 all the way up partial out on this pullback I added more heavy on that and all the way up to 37.80 and the high of the day is actually 37.70 Nine. So that was a really, really nice uh, trading. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, I made a mistake on uh, Tesla on the short that I quickly covered, but turned out to be a very nice, very powerful trading here that we had. So uh, in terms of uh, positions right now, I have SSO, JEPQ and uh, SSO again. Uh, so JEPQ is, uh, you know, it's very similar to JEP. So I sold half of my JEP and I bought SSO. Essentially, I bought the deep on uh, SPY and hoping that SPY can get a bounce uh, uh, from these levels 
the economy is a little bit uncertain at this stage. Obviously, uh, China slowdown impacts the U.S. as well. Uh, plus, uh, you know, the inflation is coming down. The expectation is by the end of next year is coming down. So the rates probably going to stay uh, higher for a longer period of time. So we'll see. We might we might stay in a very volatile and choppy market. Another tr really amazing trading that it was in the uh, open and a lot of people did it was NVIDIA. NVIDIA was really nice. Again, uh, gapping up, you know, a few minutes drop down and then suddenly huge massive up breaking through all of these levels and continue to, to 456. AMD at the open was also very nice. Uh, the open really, really nice, strong move at the open. Uh, which uh, I didn't trade it, unfortunately. But overall, it was a really, really good day. So this week, uh, we have NVIDIA uh, um, uh, earning that is coming. So that's going to be really impacting the market and this whole AI mania sector that we are having. If you go to trading terminal, you're going to see uh, in the sector performance that uh, utilities are down and real estate are really getting hit. And that's why uh, Dow Jones is negative right now. Uh, and technology and consumer discretionary are the strongest uh, sector today. Uh, let's see how it does at the close. So usually these kind of things are not going to stay uh, constant. So that was my trading. It was pretty good. Uh, Brian, how was your trading? No, I had a good day. I traded. Um, I used my usual um, rising devil trade. Uh, so I traded uh, NSSC at the open. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, so I got in. Uh, I got in short around uh, twenty-two fifty, and then uh, it had a really nice drop. Um, covered a lot of it, you know, a dollar lower, and uh, yeah, it came up. <clears throat> I added a bit, dropped again to twenty-two, uh, and then uh, just got out of the rest of it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't trade Tesla and Nvidia, unfortunately. I, I, they were really nice and. Uh, your TQQ trade was great too, but um, you know I had a really good uh, one and done trade on NSSC. So yeah, yeah. Napco Security. So, so it's gapping down forty one percent. I assume it must be it must have been earning, and rising no, devil. It wasn't. I think there was some news. It was it was definitely obviously bad news. Uh, there was something about um, I think Peter in our pre market show had mentioned that the stock was uh, trading be down because of they had to restate earnings. Um, some accounting issues so that's that's never good when that's uh, never good yeah uh, absolutely that, so. so what happened here yeah. with nsc is that uh you know a circuit is gapping down 41 percent that's why we call it the devil red just because it's red so it's really selling off in the pre-market and any pop at the open you know especially near the vwap is a good area to short it because you know you can expect this you know, uh, people are, you know, getting out of their position. So that's what's called a rising level. It's rising, it's red, you know, minus 50%, and then you're shorting it here for a quick drop. This is more like a scalping. You gotta be really fast the trading that. That's Brian is exclusively, uh, you know, traded that. All right, the SPY went red, uh, and uh, I think Qs are gonna yeah. heading lower. That was a really quite an interesting run. And I'm, I'm short, uh, I'm short the, uh, the 230 calls on Tesla right now. So I'm awesome. considering so, That's pretty good. some of them. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, looking forward to uh, see you trading this week. NVIDIA is going to be on a Wednesday. So I'm expecting a very volatile week. Uh, hopefully, you guys are having fun and appreciate that. Uh, ciao, guys.